I understand, Mr. Prime Minister, that this is your first visit to the United States. You will find many differences here between our countries, but you will also find much that is the same. Like you, we value the dignity and the freedom of the individual. Like you, we are striving to perfect our democratic institutions and to provide uh, better homes and better medical care and better schools for all of our people. Like you, we are working with all of our hearts and our minds to secure a just peace. We are deeply proud that we have been able to offer a measure of help to your people in your own efforts to achieve these common goals. I had hoped that we might welcome you this morning in the warm glow of a Washington spring. But Mother Nature has seen fit to give us instead just a parting taste of wonder. But I know that you will find that our friendship for you and for your people flourishes in every season. Mr. Prime Minister, we bid you and your lovely lady the warmest of our welcome. Even though my people are geographically remote from the shores of the United States, yet they know and feel that they share with the people of this great country the irresistible bonds of similar institutions of government, mutual belief in democratic rule, and a commitment to preserve the dignity of man and his supremacy over his own institutions of government. Our country, Mr. President, is as large as your state of Texas, as big as Portugal and Spain together. And even though remote in distance by the standards of a bygone age, it has been brought closer to your nation by the modern advancement of technological development. We are close to others also in the family of nations because geographically we are a crossroads of Africa, Asia, and Middle East. And our coastline 